welcome to Smoky Mountain Lash Bees. We're about to dive into the mother hive, honey's hive. We are going to be doing a few things here. Besides inspecting, we actually have a stand now where her hive is set up on blocks. So we are going to be, during this inspection, getting her established onto her stand, moving the blocks out of the way, and getting her put back in her spot for her hive. So we are going to just, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna smoke them just a little bit. This is a wire bottom, so I like to come over here and put a few puffs up the, the underside. Get them calmed down. Pheromones locked. Apparently he's sticking his face in front of the camera. Is recording? Yeah, he's recording. Alrighty, so got a few bees on Liam's inner lid. I'm going to put that lid right where you are standing. So we're going to set that there. I'm just going to take a peek in here and see what they're doing and then put this lid back on. them on the lid. Heck yeah, they're up here building comb a whole lot better than flowers. Mama Honey, Queen Honey seems to have a forceful go get them attitude for her bees. But yep, that's a big old fat drone there. I don't know if he'll crawl up on here. Yeah. Chase him up on here. Keep, keep hurting him. They're right there y'all is a drone it's a big old boy bee who does nothing but eat honey make queens and then die so honey nut cheerio y'all gives a new meaning to it so we are going to close up this part there's no reason to have it open we're not going to dig in oh lovely they're on the edge you all like to migrate where you don't need to be. There's a bee brush if you want to grab one out of the red bucket behind you. It's like herding cats, I swear. Help hold that end up so it's not standing on any of the bees. Yeah. Just slowly in increments lower it down. You got it set down? Alright, perfect. Oh, there's one flying around and I just left my hand on it. Pop it. Yep, you gotta pop the top. Just set this box over. I think it's a loose. Can you straight up and over? Good job. Burp home galore. Okay. So now we've got to lift up this whole bottom. Not going to spider webs out of the way here. Can you reach under the lip of the landing? Do what? Yeah, hold on. Side towards the fence up a little bit because you would have to get on the like, really. Sorry, girl. Uh, it's not. Is it in? No, not. Might need a hive tool. Hold on, let me get a hive tool.
easier to set it up on the stand before the bees are in it. There we go. Now, I think it needs to come forward. There. Alright, you get this nest. Icky, icky, icky. It's just so good. Like the salt and pepper and stuff. Or not salt, but the pepper that I did trying to get the ants away. Sorry, I didn't mean to rub it on your foot. It's just they don't pick up center blocks until I've rolled them over. No better than to pick up center blocks until I roll them over. Okay, okay. Now we're just going to pick up this whole five stand. Ready? And I will bring the level out once I'm leveling it later. Alright, one step down. Now, let's get this inspection going. First thing I'm going to note is the fact that one two frames don't even have anything on them girls no there's stuff on the tool from underneath the hive there we go you girls need to work better what the heck is this look at this this is frame 10 empty frame nine Girls, you ain't gonna make it through winter without good stores. See, honey, I'm gonna do my best to actually get her on camera for you guys to see. I usually end up just doing a photograph, but I'll try to get her over there to the camera. This is what 10, 9. This is frame 8. We've got a honey frame with comb drawn out and then filling in with nectar. The back side has just a teeny tiny bit of comb. And there's a freaking cicada yelling at us right now. So, frame 7. This should be going into the brood frames. Seven, six, five, and four are typically brood frames. But with honey, I have noticed she goes almost all the way over to the outer wall with her <coughs> brood. So. Getting some smoke here. Again, another thing I'm probably going to have to do I'm gonna give them a, another two weeks and make that final decision is the uh, top deep may have to come off keep them all concise down into the one box for food and uh, warmth purposes for winter oh this is a heavy frame so I'm figuring it is a honey frame let's see here Solid honey. Solid honey. The back side is not quite so much, but it's getting there. We keep working on it and bring it in. Oop, hive beetle. Gotta die. Gotta die. Where'd you go? Can you come here, David? It's really getting away from me. There may be two of them. That's why I keep seeing them. Up. See on the bottom of the rung going up? Black beetle. There's two of them. Right there, right there. And see the one coming right here. Kill it. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting in the different beetle. I think the. Did you get it? Uh, yeah, well, you got it. I got half of it out. Well, as long as it's dead. Flip it over a second. 
eggs. eggs. We don't want hive beetles. I know, just any egg. No, this is a this is a honey frame. Okay. No eggs will be on this frame. Not likely. Can't say if it's a hundred percent, but honey's track record. There won't be any eggs on this frame. Alright, so um can you grab the oil and fix one of those traps? I like those traps better than this trap because this trap has too much of an edge that the beetles don't get ran up onto it and down into. That's really go away. I don't have my hand. So I'm gonna get him to fix that beetle trap so we can change out what type of beetle traps. I like I like the design of those beetle, tra beetle traps better. Yeah, no big bad beetle boards here. Beetles are bad. They bad for the hive. They lay their eggs in the comb, and then their larvae destroy the comb, and it's just not good. All right, so this should be here, 10, 9, 8, 7. This should be frame 6. So frame 7, which is typically a brood comb, was a honeycomb. Right. Frame 6 is going to be what? Solid brood. I see larva to the outside. I see super young, like little tiny larva. I see eggs, all good things. So when you're looking at these, it's really cool. Give a little education here. In the center will be the capped brood, and as you watch out, you can see the generations of younger larva to smaller to eggs. And then when you pull out a frame and all of this out here is capped, you'll see it eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You'll see eggs. She got on my finger ready to sting. Um, you'll see eggs in the center and the progression will be eggs in the center going out to a little bit younger or older larva to older to older to capped brood. And that's kind of how the progression of a frame will will look. So what do we get over here? We've got empty cells but I can't tell in this light if there's eggs or not. Got a lot of honey, kept honey. So they may just have this as a food frame on the outside here, but in the center here is brood. And last time I found honey all the way on the very last frame. But I'm not going, I'm just going to go in a little bit farther. I saw larva, I saw eggs, that's all good things. So, yes, I will be fixing that here in just a minute. Let me finish pulling. I don't want to yeah. be pulling frames out. It's too easy to spill the, the oils. And that's detrimental to the bees. Light, it's not got honey, it's capped honey. It might have queen honey, but it's not got capped honey. So, looking for that telltale abdomen. I see palm pants on a gal here. Flip underneath these abs. 
a whole frame of larva. So that's good. If I don't see her on this frame, it's okay. We'll call in it quits after this frame. So here's what I was talking about. In the center is cap, and as you go out farther, you've got bigger larva, and it gets smaller and smaller as you get to the outside. Little bitty tiny larva. But everything looks good. I didn't see queens today at all, but that's okay. I've seen evidence of queens in two, and I don't even want to think about honey's hive or cloud's hive right now. Because cloud's hive is a conundrum that we're just going to let nature play out. If you want to see more about what I'm talking about with that, uh, be sure to go and watch my video because it will be here on my channel as well. Oops, don't want to do it that fast. I don't know where the queen's at. Okay. What's a mercy girl? Have so we seen all good signs that the queen honey is? doing her thing in here. I'm not going to disturb any farther, but I am going to chase them all out of this bird comb because apparently the bee thing to do is when you're closing up a tight space, you run to the tight space instead of away from the tight space. So they are notoriously getting in between the rungs and the bird comb. and that's getting smushed. So we try to stop that. So, do that. This is a healthy hive. A good hive. Queen Honey has been fantastic all year long. We will see what comes of the Cloud Hive. Honey Flower Hive is rocking it too. Again, didn't see didn't see queens today. So we shall see what each of these hives continue to do. Get out of the burr comb! Shoo 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 shoo! Here we go. They're not in the burr comb, they're on the rungs between, which will get them smushed. Shoo. Come on, get out of there. Girls in the fur comb, get out of there. Okay. Stick these two frames back in here, and I will need that beetle trap here in just a second. trap out. Okay girls, you gotta get off. Ooh, I don't want to 
beetle glue in there. Stop. Get off. There we go. It's got like two beetles in it. Ah, there's still one beetle on here. Alright, let's set it right here for right now. I like this design a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. It's going to go right where that one was, but it goes right down locks. and locks in place on the rungs of the top rung of the um, in just a second top rung of the frame and it's a nice smooth so they get chased down into the trap whereas that other one lifts up too much all right let's set that back up purple goes to the front I'll give them another two weeks, both flower and honey hive, about that deeps, top deeps, and if they are still so poorly pulled out. Probably will remove those cinder blocks. Yep. Alright, let's put that up here. Close her up. And so, two weeks, I'm going to make the final decision, I think, about the top boxes. And what I will do is if they're not really filled out good, I'm going to pull the non-filled combs that are in the bottom boxes and the frames that have comb in the top box, I'm going to put in those slots. And I'm going to take everything that's no comb away and have them concise down two single boxes where they'll have the food and the warmth for winter. So that's my game plan. We'll see how it works and be sure to subscribe to Smoky Mountain Lash Bees. I'll see you sometime later. Bye!